G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with my daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlielatham.locals.com. You can join the community for free or you can become a supporter and you can add your own comments to the discussions that are going on there. You can create your own conversations as well. But let's get on and talk about today's daily dose of business inspiration. I want to talk about the importance of the customer experience in business. I know I've spoken about it before and I will probably speak about it again. Uh, There's a lot of topics that I'm just going to keep going back to because they're so nuanced and there's so much information there that I, I think it's worthwhile going through and talking about them. But let's talk about customer experience and why it's important that we not only uh, deliver a good customer experience to our class customers, but we delight them. So I, I am brought to mind of a couple of things. One is a book by Tom Peters called uh, The Power of Excellence. I think he did a couple, but The Power of Excellence was the one I remember. He uh, It was transformational for me in reading it and getting a lot of the stories and about how most of the businesses who transformed their businesses this is back in the 80s and the early 90s so it was pretty wild west in terms of business growth for a lot of people and they put the customers right at the center of their process and they made the customers pivotal to what they were doing it wasn't just oh we're, we're in the process of building cars oh there's a customer it's like this is the customer we're building a car for And it changes everyone's mindset from the people on the floor all the way up to management. So John Peters was one guy. The other one was a series of videos by a company called Video Arts. uh, And yeah, I can't find them anymore. I don't know if we can even get them anymore. Uh, It was called the Complaints Department. There was a series of them, but the one that I remember the most was the Complaints Department. And it starred uh, John Cleese. And he played a (laughs) vacuum cleaner salesman. And... It was underscoring the importance of how you need to train all of your staff all the way through, even down to not the salesman, he was the serviceman, he, uh, down to the service people in how to deal with customers, how to handle complaints, how to handle objections, how to address concerns as they're brought up. Uh, and I look, I found that one incredibly funny because it was John Cleese and John Cleese is a very, very funny man, uh, but they hit the point spot on in terms of what you needed to do. And it was one reason why as a tech, as a very young tech, I was actually given some sales training and how I managed to do my career from being a, a field service tech through to being sales manager, contract manager, team managers, all of those sorts of things in the sales and account management uh, roles. So the importance of the customer experience in business is 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 paramount. Uh, you can have the best processes, you can have the best um, products, you can have the best services, you can have the best people. You really can. And it doesn't matter one jot if your customers are not happy, because if your customers are not happy, they're not going to buy from you, or they're not going to come back and buy from you. And if you don't have things that you can sell them on a repeat basis, they're not going to recommend you to other people to come and buy from. So making sure that your customer is in, is happy, is delighted, wants to come and be part of your business and help support your business is really important. So there's a few things that I'd uh, recommend that you you could do. First of all, learn to listen. We have got two ears, two eyes and one mouth. We should use them in those in in those ratios. Uh, so learn to listen and active listening. Now I, I know it's a it's a it's a it's a cliche and it's a term that's used so much and it's tired now. You know, you've just got to listen. But actually listen to them. Actually try to hear what it is they're saying to you even when they're really frustrated. Uh the amount of times that I've had someone come and say, it's just not working. It's just not working. It's just not working. I'm like, okay, hang on. Look. I know it's not working. I'm not sitting at your computer. I can't help you because I don't know what's not working. So let's go through this together. And I want you to show me what's not working so that I can help you, help me help you better. Now, 
that works a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they're just too frustrated and I've got to try other tactics. They're my my deep tactics that I've got to try when I get to that point. Uh, but nine times out of ten, being able to say to them, I understand you've got a problem. I believe you have a problem. Because how many times have you run? a technical organization or the tech support group of something you've bought and they've said, no, nah, it just works. We've never had that problem. Like I hate that term. We've never had that problem. Well, I'm having that problem. That's what I'm, that's what I'm having here. Maybe it is user error. That's a possibility, but it's not working the way that it should be working according to the instructions that I followed. Maybe I followed the instructions wrong. I'll admit that. A lot of people don't like to admit that, though. So you've got to, we've got to move them through that journey. When it turns out that maybe it is a PEPCAC issue, problem exists between keyboard and chair, or a user user input error um, or a user error, it's important that we don't make our customers feel idiotic for it um, or feel less for it. It's a mistake. And again, go back through a lot of my videos. <laughs> I talk about mistakes are a ways we learn. They've made a mistake. It happens. They're not the only one that makes that mistake. So maybe say, so, yep, you know, we, we see that a little bit. Maybe we need to look at our documentation or maybe we can bring out some documentation that will address that a little better for you. But take it on that we're seeing that this is an issue. We understand this issue. Let's see if we can fix this for you and make it easier in the future so the first thing is to really listen really really listen to what your customer is saying the second one is um to try and what's that term guess uh, anticipate that's the word not guess anticipate what they might want out of something look at all the questions they're asking look at the way they're using something and say hey listen you know i'm looking at how you're looking at this and i'm looking at the things you're doing and the questions you're asking are you maybe considering doing this because uh you know that's not actually the right product for the job i've got this thing over here that might work for you or i've got this service over here that might actually be better for you so not and maybe it costs them less too and it's going to save you a few bucks I see so automatically you're on the customer side. You're trying to help them get the best, the most value for money out of what you're doing. So listen, anticipate, follow up. If they ask you a question, in fact, let me just loop back on that one. If they ask a question that you don't know the answer to, don't lie and try and answer it with a lie. If you don't know the answer, be honest. You know, I don't know what that answer is. Let me see if there's someone here that can help me and I'll find out for you. Or give me your details and I will go and find out. I'll ring the I'll ring the manufacturer, I'll ring the provider, I'll speak to my manager, I'll get the answers for you, and I'll give you a call back. So don't lie. Customers can detect it, and honestly, you're going to get caught out. <laughs> If you tell a lie, you will get caught out. So don't lie. Be honest. And they really love it when you actually say, that's a really good question. I have no one's ever asked me that. Let me go and find that out for you. And then follow up. So don't lie. And then follow up. If you say you're going to get back with a price, get back with the price. If you say you're going to get back with answers to questions, get back with answers to questions. Follow up with them. If it's something that they've taken a quote for, and you've got their contact details. So, hey, listen, do you mind if I give you a call in a couple of days just to see how you're going with it? If they say no, don't. Don't do it. <laughs> that, that will annoy them. But if they say yeah, absolutely give them a call, see how it's going. The other one that I like to do is recognize them when they come back as a repeat customer. So I, um, I, I spent a bit of time in retail stores terrible experience for me I'd never do it again but I spent some time in retail stores and one of the things that I really managed to do with most of the customers that came through the door was develop a rapport with them and when they came back they would come back because oh she was really nice to us and she was really helpful we're going to go back because that that nice young lady I was a young lady at the time that nice young lady works there and we'll go have a chat to her or that nice young lady owns the store and yeah, we'll go have a chat to her because she's she she sends us in the right way 
So there's a couple of things to uh, look at your customer experience. I am absolutely going to recommend, like I have recommended previously, is get yourself some training. Get some training on how to talk to customers. Uh, the, the one book that I would recommend uh, straight off the bat is The Power of Excellence. It's an older book. I don't know if you can still get it, but I really enjoyed it. And it really helped me put myself in the mindset of how to do good customer service and what I'll do is I'll go and look for a couple of others that I'd recommend because I've read a few over over the time and, and they're really really good they're, they're really really helpful but get yourself some training on how to um, talk to customers how to deal with objections and that's not deal with objections to close a sale that's different it's how to take a customer who is upset who is angry who is really just objections uh, uh, objecting to the fact that they've got this thing that's not working and turn that around to be a positive experience um, or a less negative experience. One thing I'm going to say there is don't use what these script guys are doing now and say, oh, we're here to help you. Rest assured, we will fix your problem. You know, we're here to fix your problem. That annoys me because they may not be able to fix my problem. Yeah, and we will work with you until we fix the problem. They may not be able to work with me to fix my problem. The problem may not be fixable. I would prefer they be honest and say, hey, listen, let's have a look at this and see where we get. That's how I'd prefer to handle it. But get yourself some training as well. Read some books, watch some videos, uh, listen to some audios if you if you can. But I'll get you some ideas of what, what we could recommend there. What do you guys think about customer service? What are some of your go-to hints and tips when you've got customers that aren't kind that aren't happy or you need to do a little bit more for or you're trying to get them across the lines in terms of sales not what is your sales techniques to get through get them across the lines but what do you do to develop the rapport with the customer to put the customer at the center of your process love to find out come across to locals ask charlieletham.locals.com uh, leave some comments on this video over there that would be fantastic uh, you can leave comments here as well. Also remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell to find out when I drop more content and maybe share this content with someone who you think might, might benefit from it. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.